Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today, I'm super excited because I've got a little Unearthly Cosmetics haul. I have three new eyeshadow palettes from them to try, so I wanted to test them out with you. And let's just jump into it. So they recently had a sale, and I mean like a good sale, not just like a sale, not like a 20% off, hi, we like you. This is like we love you, 50% off. Whenever Unearthly does sales, they go big. And I, that's one reason why I adore the brand because I respect that they can do these huge sales so so many people can try their brands and get their products for a reasonable price versus drop in like a whole check you know what I mean I'm excited I have got the don't be jelly it's so pretty the devour palette and then I also picked up sorcerer's smoke I am so pumped. So I think today I want to play with a Don't Be Jelly because believe it or not, out of all the three, this one in person, I was like, holy smokes, this is, this is something special. Tomorrow is my anniversary. So I was thinking maybe do this one. Maybe we'll go out to eat. Who knows? And I was thinking that this would be perfect. And then maybe what was that? Sunday, I'll try this one. So maybe I can have this video by Monday. I just want to play with these palettes all weekend and get to know them. I did swatches. I will probably show you close-ups with each palette when we get to that point. But I will say the formula, whew, it swatched like a dream. So without further ado, let's jump in to look number one with Don't Be Jelly. Okay, so don't mind my hair. It's been one of those days we woke up and it was snowy outside. I live in Arkansas and not like northern Arkansas where they get snow. I, I hardly ever see snow. We woke up to snow and I was like what in the world is going on and I'll pop up a picture of my dogs loved it so much my husky she was like in her element they've been playing in the snow all day so I had to go to town real quick and I picked up a Starbucks coffee anyway so my hair I just threw it I haven't brushed it today but I don't think you're gonna care anyways don't be jelly holy moly this palette is so beautiful I want to pop up some close-ups because this one right here I didn't pick it up initially because I don't always wear blues okay well let me just tell you something this like the shimmers up close knocked my socks up they have iridescence they have multi chromes shifty shades just you name it and the mattes in here I adore what they have going on I think that this dark purple just made the palette it just I look at the contrast I don't know when I see this, I feel inspired. So I want to dive into this one first. If you hear something like weird in the background, we like our heat pump, there's ice all over it and it sounds insane. So just ignore that. If it sounds like something's being smacked around, it's just ice. I'm putting a eyeshadow primer on because I want to go in with a shimmer first. I don't even know what I'm going to do. And then I'll do the mattes last. Okay. Holy moly. This palette looks like a summer dream. But like with grunge mixed in. I'm trying to figure out. I know I have to do Hydro Space. Like this is an iridescent blue red shifting shade. I think I'm going to do that one. Mixed with mixed with this one right here. Mm, I don't know. I'll probably end up putting all of them all over my eyes because that's just what I do. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. So typically with Unearthly, I will pick their palettes up when they have a sale because like I said, when they run a sale, they don't play. So I just, it's hard to pay full price when if I just hold out, I could potentially get it for a good sale. With that being said, Dreamer restocked. <sighs> And I paid full price for it. I couldn't, I could not, I couldn't wait. That one is limited edition and I would be very sad if I missed out on it. So I wanted to go ahead and pick that one up while the getting is good, you know? Because the cold tone with the packaging, those pinks, I don't know, everything about it, I need. I've tried a couple of Unearthly's palettes and I think they're fine. Like there's nothing wrong with the formula. But like these three that I have... It's a huge, huge upgrade. The formula is very nice. So I wanted to note that. I love that shade. It's got like a beautiful purple base. Now I'm going to go in with Sea Space. I want to add a little bit of blue. Mm -mm -mm. I will say that this formula has a lot and lots of sparkles mixed in. Is this blue, I will say, it's almost like wearable. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can't get enough of it. If you are scared of blues, but you want to dip your toes in, I think this palette would be lovely and also I wanted to note that 
their pans are magnetic, so, like, you could just pop something else in if that blue mat scares you. But I love the fact that they added that nice touch to their palettes, the magnetic aspect. It just, it gives you so much more creativity. If you're someone who likes to rearrange your shadows, okay, I want to go in with the dark purple. Oh, is it sea urchin? How fun is that? My husband actually has a saltwater tank, and he had some corals come in today. And I don't like touching the fish tank, like getting in there. That's his. That's his hobby. I have my makeup, and he has his fish tank, and I had to do all of that stuff. And oh my goodness, it was just, I, I get so antsy because like everything's a lot. The corals, everything. I, I don't like touching anything. I don't know. That's just what he likes to do, not me. So this palette, I saw it and I was like, that's kind of perfect to do today. Anyways, this shade, man, I feel like these mattes are extra soft. You have to let me know. Have you ever tried Unearthly? If so, what's your favorite palette from them? I will say, I hope that they continue doing this quality of formula because it is so so nice oh okay on the lower lash line i want to go in with lagoon which is the matte blue just a little bit i want to mix it in with the green as well i did want to mention the shipping what the hey hey i had to pay se <laughs> i had to pay 17 dollars but I could justify it because of the sale. Unearthly went live on their Instagram. They kind of explain the shipping issue. Because they have two different places they ship products out of. Like the warehouse, when I buy stuff from that, I guess when it ships out from there, it's like 17 And then whenever they do like their local shipping, normally it's $8. But also it depends on weight. I, I, don't, I don't know because I just bought the Dreamer palette. And I only had to pay $8 for shipping that time. So hopefully um, they can kind of see... I don't, that way we all don't have to pay $17 every time. But also, I did order three palettes the first time. So maybe the weight, because there's three heavy palettes, maybe that's why it you know, went up. And also, like these really big boxes, maybe that's why to protect your palette. I don't know. Who knows? But I did want to note, like the shipping. I was like, oh, $17? Jesus. Like that's more than I pay for international shipping for other brands. Now I'm taking Seafoam, which is just the prettiest green over here. I'm popping that on the lower lash line, but kind of on the inner corner. Okay, I need to go in with Hydro Space, which is the shade I am most excited for. This one right here. Give me an iridescent, and I'm going to be happy every time. And the red particles in here, or red sparkles, oh, I think it's so pretty. So let's see how this transforms the look. Okay, I'm going to go in with Salty, which is an iridescent blue, and pop that on the inner corner. That shade is so pretty. If you are scared of colorful shades and you're wanting to dip your toes in, I would say go with iridescence first. I know some people recommend pastels, but I think iridescent is the way to go, especially if you just want a beautiful sparkly shade that's got a hint of color. Oh, I'm telling you, they just make every look just next level. I'm going to finish blending, change lippies, and then finish my makeup, and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I am loving how it turned out. For the lippies, I went in with Angela, which is a beautiful purple. I went in with Diana, this gray. This is like my favorite gray lippie in my collection. I reach for this all the time. And then Omen, which this is the gloss that Heather Austin created with Unearthly. So this is our little lip trio. And then for my waterline, I went in with this from Melt. This is the shade Milkweed. And that's what we have here. So I want to turn down the brightness. Okay, so here we have it under low lighting. I love this new formula. Oh, wow, I definitely see the height. Mm, it's very, very nice. I want to swatch my favorite shade and then we'll move on to look number two. Okay, I lied. I had to swatch three shades. I couldn't pick how beautiful are those and reflective and shiny. I can get down with this formula. Ah! it okay so i'm going to i guess see you tomorrow which that will be just one second for you okay it's a different day let's do this let's play with sorceress smoke it is so pretty i want to show you some close-ups of this beauty honestly just first glance first time swatching it i feel like this one is going to be the one that i reach for all the time this looks like my go-to color story something very 
in my comfort zone, something I will gravitate towards, something about those neutrals and greens and that grungy shade prophecy just gets me going. So let's jump into it. I cannot wait to dive in. As soon as this one was showed, I wanted it so bad, but I'm like, girl, y'all know Unearthly does sales. You just need to wait a second and then you'll get the one that you want for the price. Okay, Vervain, I have been dreaming of this shade right here. I have to use it right now. That's what we're doing. Whenever I was swatching these, the shimmers, like I said, there's been an improvement as far as quality goes. <sighs> these are almost like silk. That's the only way I can describe it. They're very, very soft to the touch. Beautiful. Oh, this is like a cool tone. I would say like, not like gunmetal, but like a, if a gunmetal was a green, you know? Like green with grunge to it. I don't know. That's the only way I can describe it. It's really pretty. Okay, I want to go in with eucalyptus and mix it with a little bit of herbal and blend vervain out. I, it's so pretty. I know it's like, Brittany, it's just another neutral greeny palette. But this one's got, I don't know, just the undertones in here. I am loving them. I knew I would. I knew I would. But it's even prettier in person. I'm just a sucker for some neutrals and some greens, what can I say? Um, those mattes, like, you don't have to work. You don't have to work to blend them. Okay, that's that kind of impressed me. I want to drag those on the lower lash line as well. I love putting a shadow down here because it just, like, kind of hides all the wrinkles that I have. You know, it's just like, what wrinkles wear, you know? I don't know. Try it if you haven't tried it because I can't stop. Oh, I love this shade. I have green eyes, so I feel like this palette makes my eyes pop. Now, another shimmer I want to play with. This is the one I want to put on the inner corner. Sorceress. Hello, we have to use this one. It just looks beautiful. It looks like pinky champagne. I see different green sparkles in there. Oh, this one's so pretty. I want to put this one kind of like on the inner third, just to lighting, lighten it up a bit. I want a little bit of warmth, just a little. I want to go in with Prophecy. This shade is everything. I feel like this ties in the palette as far as it being like cool tone, some warm tones in here, but this just, I don't know, there's something about it. And also Vision, this peachy shade. Ah, I don't know. There's something about it. Like you get a lot of looks with this palette now that I think about it. And I just want to kind of mix that in with what we have going on just to warm it up ever so softly. Peach is the color of the year, they say, so I'm not mad about it because I'm here for peach blush, peach everything. That's used to be the only shadow color I would wear was peach. I was obsessed with orange, and I still am. I'm just dragging that on the lower lash line. So yeah, I'm really happy to see that matte in here. I think it adds a lot of versatility with this palette. I want to put just a little bit of Ritual in here, this deep like brown shade. Just a little bit with the green to help kind of give it more of like a brown hue. I'll blend some more and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. It took me, I don't know, maybe two minutes because I was talking. It looks like I spent so much more time than I actually did. I'm a little shook right now. Uh, so let's talk about what I added to my lips. I love the combo that I have. I mix... Diana Shocker. I use it almost every day. And then Kaylina. I like this one's more like a brownie warm tone. And then this one's super gray. And I love mixing them because if I just go in with this one, I look a little weird because I'm so fair. I don't like super warm tones on me. So I like to mix Diana in to give it a little bit. I don't know. It just looks better on my skin tone. And then creamer is the gloss. I just love creamer so much. These two, Diana and creamer. I use them just about every single day. And then on my waterline, the brown, where did I put it? It is from Melt. Um, here it is. It is in the shade Rich Brown. There you go. And then I added a little bit of um, intention on the top lash line. But that was it. That's it, guys. It looks so pretty. I really like how you get smoky tones, you get warm tones, you get cool tones, you get greens. And the shimmers, I love the way it's like staggered. I don't know. First impressions, 10 out of 10. So now let me turn down the brightness. This one's a winner. This one is a winner. Okay. I'm starting to see the hop with this palette. It is amazing. I'm excited. I'm never going to be able to put this palette down now. So I will see you tomorrow, but you'll see me in just a second. Okay. It is finally time to play with Devour. I don't 
don't know when this video is going up. I think I said initially it would go up on Monday, but then I got some palettes delivered. So, like, I don't know when this video is going up, but, like, hey, whenever it goes up, hi, I'm happy you're seeing it now. I have everything else edited, but I still have to play with this palette. So, I, I don't know what look I want to go for. This color story looks delicious. So, I'm just going to dive into it. First, I'm going in with a gruesome right here it's really soft oh my goodness if i could hold the palette up that shade look it's thundering storming raining if you hear everything going on in the background i apologize but honestly i love rainy days i love storms as long as it's nothing like crazy you know just like a a soft thunderstorm is fun and it's just one of those days like obviously clearly mom hair like i'm just staying at home and I didn't want to put makeup on today, but I wanted to play with this palette so bad. So that's what we're doing. The kids are taking a nap. I'm just wanting to play with some makeup. And of course, it is a horrible storm out there. Like, I don't even know how high the wind is right now. I'm just going to go in with Gruesome again and just kind of blend it out. I wanted to do a smoky look. I want to mix some of the red tones and some of the green tones in here. Whenever I saw this palette in general, it kind of made me think of the um, Melt um, Gemini 2 palette. the Like the mix of the red and greens. So I wanted to kind of compare those at the end of this video. And see just how similar they actually are. Next I want to go in with the red berry shade. Mm, this one looks pretty. I like how soft and silky they are. Really, really nice. I just jinked myself because lightning struck and it woke my daughter up. I just had to go put her back to sleep. Anyways, hopefully it calms down outside. But the reason why I'm wanting to do more of like a smoky, deeper base, it's because this palette has got three beautiful iridescent shades and I want to use those. Iridescents are my favorite. Every time a palette has one, I just I have to use it. I want to go in with Devour. I mean, hello, we have to. And I want to deepen out the outer corner and then we're going to play with some of the iridescents. Let me know if you picked up this palette. I feel like this one was really popular for Unearthly. Uh, man, it, it's just so pretty. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I wanted the, like, the whole box, obviously. But the lip products and the cheek duo called to me more than the palette but i just could not afford the whole shebang so i wanted the palette at least but just know that my heart desired the lippies and that lip treat or the lip not the lip the cheek uh combo thing they're like low light let me get the one that heather austin did if i could pick it up this one right here they had a lovely little duo and i wanted it i wish they had sold their stuff separately that way you don't have to purchase the entire box but like i get that's why they don't so you have to buy it all but i don't know i just couldn't afford it but that collection looked so beautiful but at least i got the palette 50 percent off i am happy about that all right i want to do some on the lower lash line i need to balance this look because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone i'm gonna go in with prey it's the like true green in the palette and i'm going to mix i think carnivore with it it's it looks kind of brown like a maroon maybe i'm gonna mix that together now i'm going in with snap and it's more of the lime green that the palette has i'm just gonna mix those two together Okay, now for the time that I'm most excited for, it's time to throw glitters all over my face. I want to go in with, I want to do, oh, I think I have to do snack all over the lid. Mm, it looks like a beautiful fiery iridescent, which that's like my favorite shade ever. And let's just layer this all over. I'm noticing that this formula, it's very flattering on the eyes. It's not like chunky, flaky none of that it looks very flattering in a way okay so i went in with a little bit of carnivore just on the outer corners to deepen it up i mixed it in on the lower lash line just a little to give it a little something i was trying to make it more of like a burgundy brownie shade but it's still pretty i mean it's deep it's beautiful but i still have a little bit of like pinky vibes going uh let's see now for the inner corner i want to do trap right here and I'm also going to take this on the lower, li the lower lash line just a little. So this one, it's a green, pink. Well, I have my finger stained. Let's do this finger. It's like another iridescent green, pink. I don't know. I see orange sparkles. Let's get it on and see 
what it looks like. I'm going to do some finishing touches off camera and then I'm gonna be back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. In the waterline, where did you go? I went in with this eyeliner from Natasha Denona in the shade, what are you called? I forgot, Willow. I was going to go in with, like, I have a bright um, yellow one or green one to kind of match this, but I don't know where it's at at the moment. But So I went in with Willow, and then for the lip, what we have going on in the lips, let me show you because I mixed all of my unearthly ones together. Um, of course, Eva. This is a beautiful cool tone brown with like a splash of grungy green in there. And then I, I did just a dot of Linda to give it just a t like a soft pink. And then Angela, because I love purples with gray. So that's a combination that we have today. And then I topped it with this gloss in the shade Moss to give it like a little bit of a green sparkle effect. It's not like super intense green, so don't be intimidated, but just like a little bit. And I really do like how it came out. So now I'm going to turn down the brightness. Okay, so this is what it looks like under low lighting. I'm kind of loving this look. I didn't think I, I didn't know where it was going, but I like the end result. I want to do some love swatches because you know how I am. I want to do, let's see, I'm going to do, uh, let's do trap. I didn't use bite and then I didn't use, um, what are you, inset or, oh, instinct. I'll do this one. These, this like formula right here, it's very soft. It kind of, like I said, I don't know if I said it in the video. It makes me think of kind of like glam light in a way. I like the nice mix of textures, so let me just kind of smooth them out and then show you what we have. Really pretty. This shade right here, I definitely need to use that next. I like how that is looking. Let me see if I can show you the shifts of the iridescence. In person, you can kind of see a little bit of a green shift. I don't know if kind of you can barely see it on camera but it's there ever so softly so now i'm going to zoom you out and give you my first impression thoughts on all three of these palettes okay so i'm just going to go over my thoughts on each palette kind of how i filmed it in what order so first one i filmed was the don't be jelly i love the packaging i think it's beautiful i love the ocean and everything about it so the jellyfish was like my weakness i needed it i've been dreaming about this palette for quite some time the fact that i got this 50% off. I'm very happy. I love the shimmers. They are so sparkly. Some of them are shifty. I love that we have an iridescent shade in here. I just, I don't know, there's so much that I do love about this palette. I will say that this dark purple really made it for me. It really adds a nice, like, definition, contrast. I love the depth that this shade gives to the palette. I love the shade Coral. You could just do this shade and then uh, Luminescence or, like, Jellyfish and have more of, like, soft wearable because that's more toned down. Or you could go blue green purple I really like how versatile this palette is one of my friends said that she has seen that a lot of people got hard not a lot some people got hard pan on the shimmers I can't attest to that obviously this is only the first time I'm using it but I thought that that was important to share in case you were decide if you're going back and forth if you want this palette maybe just listen to some more reviews maybe some follow-ups just make sure that their pans didn't get hard pan um but i love this one so much so this might be a formula that you might need to use a brush for i don't care i'm gonna use my fingers but you know your fingers have oils on them so that's not always the best for shadows uh and i don't have a palette in my collection quite like that now let's move on to sorceress smoke right here i love the packaging it just looks so grungy and beautiful here's the color story we have neutrals we have greens we have deep smoky shades. I love that you get like a, let's see, a warm brown or like a cool brown and then like a warm orangey brown. I love the greens in here. I adore everything about this palette. Honestly, out of all the palettes, these three, this is going to be the one that I gravitate towards on a daily basis. Yes, this one was the one that looked prettier in person that I was just really excited and inspired to play with, but this one, like realistically, this is going to be the one that I reach for all the time. And out of the three, I think that this has the best formula. It's like a luxurious formula. The mattes are, on all these palettes, the mattes are wonderful, but the shimmers in here in particular, these are like silk. They're so smooth. That's the only way I can describe it as silk. This is a new formula that I have not seen yet from Unearthly, and this is one that I'm very excited about. 
So in my collection, the one that looked the most similar was the Nomad Okavango Safari palette. The neutrals with the pops of green in here. And then of course you have some deep smoky shades. So let me just kind of like hold them up. So if you had your eyes on this one and you do have the Nomad, maybe you could just kind of pull it out and feel inspired to use it again. I must say that this formula is way better because of these shimmers. The shimmers in the Nomad palette have hard pan and they're kind of difficult to pick up, but I love both palettes. I love both brands, so it's a win-win, but this formula, it's luxurious in my opinion. And, and last, the Devour palette. The packaging I'm not like in love with, but it's fine. It's cute. The color story in here isn't something that I'm going to reach for all the time. Like I said, Honestly, I wanted the lip products and then the beautiful highlight cheek duo more than the palette, but I couldn't pass up 50% off, so I ended up getting the palette. I do like the iridescent shades in here. I think the formula is nice. I like these, like they're, they're a satin with a little bit of sparkle. I don't know. These three, no, these four shades, they're really nice. I enjoy that one, but the iridescents made it for me. I love the berries with the greens, and we do have a black if you would like to smoke it out. It's just, on me, pinks, they make me look a little sickly. I don't reach for pinks a lot, but this palette is one that... I enjoyed the end result so I will reach for this more it's just out of the three it's my least favorite I'm just you know here to be honest with you um and I wanted to pull out the melt the Gemini 2 palette because I'm trying to do some comparisons in my collection that was um that was a request from you guys so whenever I do my reviews I will tend to look into my collection just to see if I could see anything that looks a little similar so yes you have the greens with the reds but they're different so obviously you could justify getting one or the other I personally would reach for these probably more just because I like the undertones and then I would reach into my collection for some indie shimmers because these shimmers are just not it for me but I do love both palettes. I think that they're beautiful. I just wanted to kind of hold them up together so you could see. Maybe if you have one or the other, you could pass on it. I don't know. It's just something I'm going to be trying, going to be doing um, going forward in my reviews. But that's everything, guys. Please let me know what you picked up from Unearthly Sale or did you skip it? What's your favorite palette from them that you have in your collection? I know the next time they do a sale, or inevitable, like they're going to do a sale, you know, I have my eye on Fall Magic. I don't need it. But, like, I wouldn't be mad if I have it in my collection. But that's going to do it for today's video. I really do hope you enjoy this style. Uh, it was requested also that I not necessarily only review new makeup. So, these palettes are, like, old. They're not, like, they came out last year. Like, they're not, they don't have dust on them. <laughs> you know, they're not old, but they're not new. So, I do hope that you enjoyed this video seeing palettes that aren't new. Maybe pull them out of your collection if you do have them in feel inspired to create a look but that's gonna do it for today's video wherever you are in the world i hope you're doing well i hope that you are healthy happy and safe stay beautiful bye guys